There's a bacillus rods and it's pink so it is gram negative. that are gram negative and these are caucus shaped bacteria. This is pink so it's gram negative and they're little corkscrews looking so this is spirillus. This when it comes into focus is cyanobacteria gloeocapsa. That's G-L-O-E-O-C-A-P-S-A. This is Oscillatoria, it's domain bacteria, and it's a type of cyanobacteria, it's photosynthetic. This is Anabena, it's a cyanobacteria and domain bacteria, and that's A-N-A-B-A-E-N-A. This is the Euglena, which is E U G L E N A. Euglena. This is Volvox. It's V O L V O X. Okay, this is Spirogyra, that's S-P-I-R-O-G-Y-R-A, and it has chloroplast, and that dark green dot in the center over from the pointer is the nucleus. And this is mixed diatoms. They look like little fragments of glass, and that's because their outer shell is made with silica. But these are diatoms. This slide is penicillium canidia, which is used to make penicillin. How does it take out audio wire? This is a zygospore of rhizopus, that's R-H-I-Z-O-P-U-S, which is black bread mold. That's a zygospore, zygospore of rhizopus. This is coprinus mushroom, and this is actually the gills under the mushroom, and the little projections on each side are actually the spores. This is Saccharomyces, which is yeast, with budding cells that are too small to be seen. <laughs> 
This slide oh. is Pazisa Apotheceum. That's P E Z I Z A A P O T H E C I U M. This is a furnace spore at a hundred times magnification. This one's Staphylococcus epi, which is gram positive since it's purple, and this is thousand power oil immersion. Staphylococcus epi, which is gram positive. This is the underside of a fern frond, and the overall structure that the arrow is near the center of is the sorus, which is singular for sori, and in the sori is the sporangium. Fern frond sorus sporangium. <coughs> center structure the pointer is on is a fern young sporophyte. That's a sporophyte, which is actually growing up out of the gametophyte. And this is going to grow up into a fiddlehead and on curl into a fern with fronds. This is the underside of a fern frond on the dissecting microscope. This is the female sex organ of a moss. The generic term for a moss sex organ, organ is gametangia. And this being the female sex organ is the archegonia. That's, that's A-R-C-H-E-G-O-N-I-A. And in the center, right where the pointer is, that is where the egg is. But this is the archegonia of a fern plant, which is the female sex organ. This is the male sex organ of a moss, and it's a male. Gametogonia is the general term for male and female, but this being the male is the anthridia, which is A-N-T-H-R-I-D-I-A. Male sex organ of a male and theridia. This is a pollen grain magnified 400 times. A pollen grain. This is a cross section of a uh, Two needle pine cone needle magnified 40 times. Pine cone needle cross section magnified 40 times. This is a longitudinal section of a pine cone, and the pointer is on the ovule. Longitudinal section of a pine cone, and the pointer is on the ovule at 40 times. This is a section of a lily and the pointers on the ovule and the ovules where megaspores are made. And this is a hundred power. This is a lily section 40 times and the pointers on the ovule where the megaspores are made. Lily magnified 40 times, the pointers on the round ovule, and that's where the megaspores are made. This is a root tip of an onion plant. Two videos. 
This is a cross section of a root. This is a root tip at 40 times power showing the root hairs on the root tip. This is a root tip magnified a hundred times showing the root hairs on the root tip. This is a cross section of a stem of a dicot showing the phloem and xylem and the phloem is on the outside. This is a cross section of a stem of a monocot. In the monocot, the phloem and xylem are randomly scattered. Cross section of a stem of a monocot. This slide shows the epidermis, which is the outer covering of a leaf, and the dark dots are the stoma for gas and water exchange. This is a slide of the epidermis of a leaf and in this one it's magnified a hundred times and you could see the stoma with the guard cells surrounding the stomal opening. This is the epidermis of a leaf with the stoma surrounded by the guard cells. This is a cross section of a leaf. The upper red cells are the palisade mesophyll. Yeah, this is a cross section of a leaf. The upper red cells are the palisade mesophyll where photosynthesis takes place. And the lower <coughs> green cells are the spongy mesophyll which is a more open space for gas exchange of CO2 and O2. These are developing gametophytes at a fern plant from our sea fern experiment. Excuse me. Yes. This is a fern gametophyte.